Oh shit. Oh, 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 oh shit. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes, hello. Uh, this is Corporal Shrimp Dick. I left a gym bag in the locker room. Can you go ahead and check if it's still there? Uh, identifiable things inside it. I don't have an ID in there. Um, no type of workout. There's 10 pounds of C4 in it. C4. The plastic explosives. Uh, what the fuck do you mean hold? No, 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 no. Don't grab your fucking manager. Just hold on to my bag, man. I'll be there in a second. Don't be a little snake. I said don't fucking snake me! Listen, if you make any sort of deal about this, I will blow you away. And I'm not talking about oral pleasure. You're... Not your third leg, your first two will be gone. Stop making this sexual. What even makes you think I'm gay? We've matched on Tinder before. How do you know what I look like? Oh shit, my wallet is in there. Fuck. Yeah, I could have avoided this whole C4 thing. <sighs> all right, man. Well, all right, so I know all you guys know about the uh, grunt unit who lost two rifles in the field right around Christmas time and everyone lost their Christmas leaf. You will not believe this. Someone has lost 10 pounds of C4 explosive. Yes, that Call of Duty shit that you throw off a roof in war zone to hopefully land on a car driving by, all during a two week exercise in 29 Palms. If you are not familiar with the base in 29 Palms, it's pretty much just a deserted, flat, gross looking base that looks like it's constantly undergoing chemotherapy. Just radiation from the sun is constantly giving these guys chemotherapy. Cancer or no cancer. Right now there's an official investigation, but military officials believe it was stolen because obviously C4 isn't gonna walk up and disappear. Now there's some different stuff that gets stolen in the military and I'm not gonna say, you know, it's right to steal. However, there's been people who, um, I don't know, let's, let's use something as an example. You're moving duty stations and you have a real nice whiteboard in your office, right? And all of a sudden that whiteboard is missing when you change duty stations. And for some reason you have a nice whiteboard in your new duty station. There's never an investigation for where did the whiteboard go? No one fucking cares. Some might call it tactically acquiring. Again, a lot of times get swept under the rug. Should you steal anything? Of course not, that's not what I'm saying. But who the fuck takes C4 explosives? You just guaranteed to throw your whole life away. You will go to jail. If you think you're getting a slap on the wrist for stealing C4, you're so wrong. Dog, they kick people out for double dipping on BAS and eating at the chow hall for free. You think someone stealing 10 pounds of C4 isn't gonna get you kicked out? Dude, you're gone. They're gonna find you. Your friends are gonna snitch. NCIS is already involved, dude. They're probably interrogating your friends. They're upside down getting waterboarded right now. Well, probably not that, but they're definitely gonna rat you out. Because you know what happens if they don't rat you out and then NCIS finds out they knew? They're an accomplice. Dog, they could label you a terrorist for stealing this. Right now, there's two units under 2nd MEF. So you got 2nd Div and 2nd Marine Air Wing doing training exercises. And to my knowledge, the wing doesn't carry that sort of armament anyway. So it has to be the div boys who are fucked up. And it's funny because the div boys are the dudes who lost the rifles back in Camp Lejeune. If it comes out that it's the exact same unit, I have so much empathy for the dudes who are not getting in trouble, but they're being dragged in and having a shitty time because all their coworkers want to be shit bags. If you guys don't know what C4s are and you've never played Call of Duty, actually Call of Duty people probably don't know what it actually is. It's an explosive consisting of research developed explosives and a plasticizer that makes putty so you can shape it it into whatever you want and use it for like different sort of tasks each and every time, which means the detonation is different for what you want. It could be as simple as just like blowing off a door or level an entire structural compound and have them all on the support beams. Obviously you need a lot more than 10 pounds if you wanna do some shit like that. And this isn't even like the first time it's been done. Dude, back like a decade ago, some guy who worked at a graveyard was like apparently planting something and he dug up C4s that were stolen from a base. Dude, there was a special forces guy who had like a hundred pounds of C4 buried in his backyard. I don't know what type of nut job is uh, doomsday prepping C4. I don't I don't know what he he's, thinks he's up against. Is this like a veteran versus the government? Like one of those dudes who are like, you want my gun? Come and take it. And they put it on the back of their fucking Ford F-150 because they're inbred and they have to put some sort of decal on it. But 100 pounds of C4 is still gonna do nothing if you're fighting the government. 
seeing as they have jets that will just swarm your house with bombs. What practical use are you gonna get out of a C4? I literally don't get it. Unless you have like a 12 year old dog and he develops some sort of bone cancer and the vet's trying to charge you a thousand dollars just to put him down. So you figure you take matters into your own hands, but you can't own a gun anymore because the sound scares you. So you just go ahead and rig your dog with a bunch of C4. You have him do his last trick where he lands on his own detonation buddy. You say, go ahead buddy, do the flip. And he does one last flip and lands perfectly on his detonation, blowing up puppy bits around your backyard, which is then later turned into fertilizer where you're getting the best crop turnout you've ever had in your life. And now you figure you can't grow anything without your special dog blow up treatment. So you're collecting shelter dogs and you feel like you're doing something better for the society because you're adopting all the ones who aren't getting adopted and you think it's humane because they're no longer going to be killed by neglect. They're going to be killed by C4. And maybe that's what whatever Lance Corporal is thinking when he stole this. He's thinking 10 years in advance, hey, when I'm a vet, I need a I need a way to make money. I'm gonna grow potatoes with fertilizer used from exploded dogs and C4s. Hey babe. I am throwing out zingers here. Anyway, as more news unfolds about this, I will let you guys know. And hopefully it's not gonna be used for any malice intent. Otherwise, uh, that will be twice as unfortunate. Be on the lookout for guys sheltering old dogs at their house, because I think I'm onto something.